As you guys can see, okay, completely, completely glueless. No glue, no spray, no baby hairs needed either. It's perfect right out the box. It's perfect right out of the box. Make sure that y'all get you one of these. Today we're going to be installing a wig from Unice. Thank you so much Unice for sending over this unit. So in your box comes your wig, of course. You also get a sheer wig cap. It comes with a melt belt and then it comes with a goodie bag. So in this goodie bag, they actually sent another wig cap and melt belt. I got some lashes because you know your girl loves big blinks. And I also got this really cute makeup brush. So I thought that was really nice. So let's get into the wig specs. I got a 24 inch Jerry Curly unit. As you guys can see, this wig is very, very long. So this unit is from their Wear Go line, which makes for easy installation in everyday wear. The lace is pre-cut. So as you guys can see, they cut the lace in a zigzag motion for you so that it will look natural when you lay the wig. The hairline is also pre-plucked so that you don't have to worry about doing any sort of plucking and the lace is transparent so as i said it just makes for you to be able to put the wig on and go which is where the name comes from here is the cap construction as you can see it has spaces between the wefts this makes for ventilation so that you can get air to your scalp but also easy access to your scalp if you wanted to scratch your scalp or something like that so this wig has a 6 by 4.5 lace closure which gives you more lace for more styling options you have your two combs on the side one in the back and what i found interesting about this cap construction is that there's no adjustable straps in the back what you have is a non-slip silicone band and you have an elastic band to hold the wig in place securely so as you guys can see this hair is very full and beautiful the curls are nice but they don't look natural so i'm going to style them off camera the reason i'm doing it off camera is because the method is the same exact method that i used in my last video if you're interested in seeing that i'll link it above and down below for you to watch once you're done with this video i use my continuous spray bottle to spray each section before going in with my keep it curly mousse to define the curls as well as hold them in place and then I'm going to use my Felicia Leatherwood to also detangle the curls and define them. So once I was done, I put the wig on just to show you guys what it looks like technically straight out of the box with the curls defined and dry. And as you guys can see here, the lace is kind of ashy. It doesn't match my skin tone and the wig doesn't really fit my head on the sides. So yeah. This is what it looks like straight on without any sort of manipulation to the lace. So I'm going in with my Eben Tinted Lace Spray in medium brown. I'm just gonna coat the lace in that so that it'll match my skin tone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace. It was kind of hard to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but I only cut like a centimeter off. As you guys can see, that lace matches. It looks way more natural. And then I'm just gonna cut a couple layers in the front just to give it more of a natural look and to give me a semi bang and layered look. Oh, fudge. That's way shorter, isn't it? It is. Oh, that pissed me off. <sighs> okay. Okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. Freaking hate having to cut on my right hand side. And this is what the hair looks like when I'm all done styling. This wig was super easy to work with. The curls came out so, so pretty. It's so full and nice. The lace was very easy to customize to make it look natural because of the hair being pre-plucked and the lace being transparent. 
Also, the lace being pre-cut made my life easier too. I didn't have to cut much off. So this makes for the perfect beginner friendly install. It's your perfect beginner friendly wig. Because I was wearing a nude wig cap, I expected you to be able to see that in the back. But the way the curls fell, you couldn't see anything. The hair is so full, you couldn't see that wig cap underneath at all. And to my surprise, the wig stayed in place with no extra adhesive or glue. All I used was some bobby pins in the front just to make sure it wouldn't slide because I was a little nervous, y'all. I'm not going to lie. But stay tuned for my final thoughts. Okay, you guys. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to wrap up with my final thoughts on this unit. So I absolutely love this unit. The curl texture is everything. I use the same method that I always do with all of my curly units. I just didn't show it in this video because I don't want my videos to get repetitive. But it's the same exact method, same technique, same products, everything. Everything. The roots in the back are still wet just a tad but that's about it. The hair is dry. I just used extra mousse so that it could have a semi wet look because I want the curls to last for at least a few days before I have to maintain it again. So if you have that issue with your wigs where you have to maintain it often just use a little more mousse or a lightweight gel if you can. That way you can just go about your business okay. I love the curl pattern. Jerry Curly has been my favorite hair texture for a minute now. I would say over a year. I actually absolutely love jerry curly um curls i just they're my personal fave so i'm super excited to have it in 24 inches now and it's a lot of hair as you guys can see the density on this unit is nice and thick when it was wet i was kind of nervous i was like it looks a little thin but when it dried it you know as you can see we've got volume i absolutely love that about this wig although the wig is thick in density it is not heavy at all it is still very lightweight and it's not hot especially because it has that ventilation in between i can easily access my scalp y'all to scratch with no issues okay but it also allows for air to come in so it's perfect for the spring and summertime um especially if you're living in warmer climates but want to wear longer hair i highly recommend this cap construction but i will say my only con with this unit is the way that it fits on my head it doesn't fit my head in the front if i went for a 4x4 we would have been better off but the 6x4.5 doesn't fit my head shape in the front but there's a lot of room in the back so the cap i don't know it's weird it's not small but it still doesn't fit my hairline in the front like i'm used to there being a little something something but this much is out of my comfort zone okay so it doesn't fit my head in the front but the back is super roomy like I have so much space back here so the only way to combat that is to like try to put the wig lower on my forehead but it still doesn't cover what it needs to cover I didn't notice anybody else have that sort of issue from the wear go line from you nice but it just doesn't fit my head I don't know if it's just this particular unit but it just doesn't fit my head so I normally with closures would go with something smaller so that you can't tell that it doesn't fit but that's my only complaint y'all the wig is super effortless it's lightweight the curls are juicy they don't you don't really need to do much I'm sorry somebody's dog is going off outside it doesn't require much work all I did was define the curls off camera I cut the lace just a smidge because it was still a lot of lace left on it for me personally and put my lace tint spray on it so that is it as you can see the hairline is pre-plucked look at that okay so this wig is perfect for beginners if you don't know what you're doing with wigs definitely go for something from the wear go line as you guys can see okay completely completely glueless complete what glue no glue no spray no baby hairs needed either and i'm gonna make some baby hairs later but no baby hairs needed if you don't want to it's perfect right out the box it's perfect right out of the box Make sure that y'all get you one of these, okay? I have no, I have nothing else to say. You need one of these in your wig closet this year. As you guys saw, I cut some layers in the front. They're a tad shorter than I thought they were gonna be. I accidentally cut the right hand side too short, but I just cut just a few of them in the front. And for anyone who is curious about shedding, it's curly hair, so it's going to shed, but she didn't shed much. That's all the shedding I got, y'all. That's 
For curly hair, this is not bad. But I didn't even have to wash it, y'all. This is straight out of the box. I just defined the curl straight out of the box and she's giving what she needs to give. So I hope you guys, I hope you like her. What are, what are our thoughts on Miss 24 inch Jerry Curly Air wig? I like her. She, yeah, she gives attitude. She's got spunk. We like her. The wig is absolute perfection, okay? It is perfection. I get you something like this for the summertime, y'all. Spring is here, summertime is coming. Let's get into the lengths. Let's get into the curls, y'all. Like, it's about that time of year. It's my favorite time of year. So, I will make sure to leave my coupon code down below for you guys as well as the purchase link for this unit. Thank you, you nice, for sending me this unit. I absolutely love it. It is one of my new faves. Y'all finna be sick of me this summer in this wig. You hear me? Sick of me. Okay, per per that be sick of me. Thank you so much, you nice hair, for sending me this unit. I absolutely love her. She's giving. She's super pretty. She's super full. She's juicy. Okay, she's comfortable. And there's no glue or spray on her. I love that for me. So make sure that you guys pick you up one of these. I will be sure to leave the link down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this you this unit thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe go ahead and ask me any questions that you have on this wig if you have any i will be sure to answer them for you and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys